How you guys doing? This is Irish Deal. Welcome back to what what I call my shop. Hold on. Fully stacked. That's the one. That's the bad boy it is. So welcome back to Fully Stacked, my little card shop away from the world, because well, the rest of the world really doesn't care that I own a card shop now. Yay, we're in a card shop. And now, so what I've done is I've extended the store. As you can see, we've got a little bit of room. Now I can swing a cat around without smashing its face against the wall. So it's all good. We're still selling the same old crap I was before, but now I've actually got a little bit of space to kind of do some like maintenance into bits and pieces so before i open up my store and go yay please people come and spend their money on me well, basically i just need to fill up my shelves again which is something you do need to do if you want to make lots of money in this game now i do only have a thousand dollars left because th this bloody wall cost me over two grand Oh, I was not happy, but I have got some cards out that are actually worth it now. We're we're now getting into the higher end of my card collection, which means I've run out of cards to sell. So I do need to start opening a few more packs and start getting a few things done. And that just basically means I have to sort my shelves out. And the reason why I've got to sort my shelves out is because, well, I, I've got lots of stuff I need to like sell. I need to put, I need to get all my stuff back together. We're all good. So they can all go on there. That's. No, you're supposed to go back on the shelf, even if there's not many of you left. Right, cool. You can go up there as well, because that's fun. And I've got 28 packs of cards. We can put those on there, that on there. Okay, so they're full as well. Excellent. Right, so what do I need? I need... Um, I need multi-packs. Multi-packs. Aha! These ones. So, at currently, I haven't got enough money really to unlock the big pack. Because it costs 600 so you can buy two packs. I'm like, if I just make enough money out of what I need to do, we should be pleasant. But apart from that, we're just sort of biding our time until we can get the next thing, which is what I need. I need the workshop. And the reason why I need the workshop is because the workshop will change the future forever. You can open all the packs you really want, and then you can just sell the crap you don't need anymore. Which is why I bought my shelf back in, because that's going to be my crap shop and I have to get around to it. Have I still got red dice? I do have some red dice, and that is good. So there, okay. Oh, I've got to remember that pushing R holds the box and F doesn't. Um, I think I'm going to be okay. Just for a little bit longer i only have to buy a few little bits and pieces here for maintenance and we're fine you know what another table might go another table would be pretty cool at least on that side we can actually make some more money off of, which is always welcome we like making money and it is so let's just bung another table in here and we're all good well done right so we've got five tables fantastic and the best part about this is this doesn't interfere with the rest of my shop which means the smelly geeky people can sit over here and play cards whilst the other smelly geeky people can over there and go buy stuff all good i'm just surrounded by smelly geeky that bloody air freshener does naffle i want a better one so we've got to save up for that as well but i do need to buy some more warehouse shelving i do need to like expand and the best way i can expand is to open my shop and basically hope that people buy lots of stuff the next thing i'm aiming for is drum roll please at the workbench the reason why i need the workbench is because it means i can put all my junk cards together and i'll be happy i genuinely will be happier it means i can get rid of all the stuff i don't really want so let's push enter so i had six dissatisfied customers i don't really care most of them probably like i don't know weirdos and just never satisfied anyway cards sold i sold 17 cards i've sold 90 items which is pretty cool and as you can see uh, upgrade cost me two thousand one hundred dollars and i've got a profit of minus 941 specifically because I spent a lot of money upgrading this poxy shop, buying stuff, and putting it. Yeah, let's put it this way. A little bit frustrated with like how expensive things are, but we'll get there. We will stagger through and we will conquer the gaming card world because I'm determined to actually try and finish this game. Or at least really enjoy it that there's loads of stuff and I'm making a shed ton of money and I can feel like Elon Musk but without actually like having it for real. I get like the cyber feeling. Yay, I'm a rich person inside of a game. Yeah, get but. I might have to put another one up, you know. You smell. You really, really... Oh, uh, oh, give me a second, guys. I just need to spray that Mac. Oh, no, I don't want to pick that up. I need to spray him because he stinks. You smell. You know what? I'm going to put one of you here. I'm going to put that there because then it's right next to me. Yay, you bought $2 worth of cards. Thanks, mate. Ooh, cheers, mate. Most appreciated. That means I can actually buy some cat food for food tonight. Excellent. 93 pounds and 50p have a great day thank you ah yeah that's nice i've got to give you just loads of chains now that's really handy 50 60 70 80p go have a good day 
Uh, you want that lovely little card there. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't like giving people nine pounds and something change. They're supposed to spend more money in this kind of shop, not give, like me having to give them change. Good, thank you. Oh, it's, uh, get, uh, I'm sorry, it's just, it's really bad. I mean, worst comes to us, I get, I get two of those and I stick them next to each other and I'm just happier. Oh no, that's, that, I'm done. Sir, you come into this shop, you will be sprayed. There you go. Get out of here, you stinky whipper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, does it? You want that card? Fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm planning to sell out today. Like, if everyone buys everything, I'll be happy. Because then, I, well, number one, I'll have money. And number two, I can get the workshop, which is something I really do want. I want the workshop so I can mess around with things. Be happy. Nine pounds and twenty p. There we go. Have fun. A uh, bubble. Yes, madam. What can I do for you? Did you just buy? Yeah, you bought some singular cards again. Ah, uh, they were the expensive ones, I think. I have one more expensive card, and it's like eighteen quid. Eighteen dollars for a, well, eighteen pound for a card. A lot of money for a card. Yep. And now all the customers have disappeared. Hello, my friend. No. Oh. Oh, he's just bought the really expensive card. Sir, you just spent $18 on a card. Thank you. I, I will gladly give you £2 change. Thank you very much for buying it. It's most appreciated. Can't really decide. Yeah, I know. It's hard, isn't it? If you buy two of them, you make yourself even happier. There we go, you spent $74. And look, you are so happy you did that. All good. Have fun deodorizing yourself. Excellent. <sighs> okay, $5, oh, five pounds, right, and 10 beer. And a packet of dice, fantastic. Have a great day, sir. Now, whilst I'm waiting, I'm gonna come off here for a second. Nope, go into my options and pay my rent and pay my electricity. Because once they're paid for, I don't have to do it again today. And that's good. I mean, I have made about two, three hundred dollars so far. So we're doing all right. We're doing fine. And the world is a greater place. Further greater good. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Hi, sir. Do you want that one singular car? And I give you £9.80's worth. Can people just give me, I don't know, the better change? Just give me a quid if you're buying a card for like 50p. Not give me, I don't want to keep breaking up £10 notes. Who buys a single card with a, for a tenner that's worth like 50p? No one. Absolutely. Oh, God, sir, seriously. No, someone bought my deodorant off my shelf. Tell you what, I'm going to really need to like do something about that. No, you come back here, you smelly smeg. You, stinky stinky face. Yeah, you. Uh, yes, uh, you want a booster pack? Do you want another one? It, it will make you more irresistible to the women kind. It will. Trust me, they really like booster packs. Especially if it comes with Viagra. It's all good. Right. Sir, would you like to buy more stuff? Or are you just going to come here for, for freeloading? Yeah, freeloaders. Yeah, get your bum out of here. I am so lonely, standing behind my counter. Oh, what is it with people who smell? Have a bath. Yes, sir, you want to buy that one. So I have to give you £4.60p in change because you wanted to buy a 40p card. Cool. Next, say we've got 945 quid. We've actually done quite well bringing that money back up. And we have, we've we done it with very little in it, which is quite nice. Ah, oh, yeah, cool. And 60p. Have a lovely day, sir. It's pricey. What's bloody pricey? Hold on. Nothing's pricey. The prices are frozen. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Oh, are you buying one of those? Even though he, that guy just complained they were too pricey. Apparently, they're not. You want a packet of white dice? Fantastic. I have to give you £17 in change. Have a great day. 
back up to a grand. ka -ching. So the idea is I could buy that workshop like right now. I mean I could, but it would leave me with like £40 and I've got to try and pay my rent and everything else, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. Also, I, if I'm going to buy the workshop, then I want to buy some card packs or I want to open some card packs because I want to see how the bundling process works. So it, it's, a, it's a, yeah, it's a big thing. It's like, okay, well, how's this going to work? How does it do this? How does it Excellent, sir. Thank you very much. You're now funding my gambling habit. Well, not gambling habit, like card habit. Yeah, £7.50p. £7 Have a great day. Wow, you look depressed now. You shouldn't have lost that game. Oh, that was a bad move on both people. Are you guys serious? That many bad moves? How are you so depressed? Thank you very much for the card protect. I love card protect. In this game, they've got some really, really cool ones designed as well. So I'm, o I'm, I'm hoping at some point we'll have a shop big enough and we can fund. At the moment, we are running on like bare minimum of what we've unlocked. I think it's because I want more things to do instead of more things to sell right now. So it's a little bit grindy because it's like, oh, I'm still doing the same thing. Yes, but it's it's proven to be working. It just takes a little bit of extra time, a little bit more like grindy. But apart from that, I am completely happy, right? And it's getting dark and that means I have to waste more money on electric. Gone are the days we could all live like the Mormons. Not the Mormons, sorry. The Amish. Yeah. No electricity. No distractions. Just me and a wooden buggy in a field. <laughs> putting up barn after barn for my 15 kids. 35 grandchildren and the dog <laughs> no i'm not amish i do really i do wear stuff that doesn't have buttons though so i'm almost there <laughs> i wear t-shirts and shorts and they have no button apparently it is against it's against it they're not allowed to wear buttons i don't know why but weirdo yankovic sung about it so it must be true i'll oh, put down the car yeah there we go uh, look at all these happy clappy chappy chappies they're all playing the game man see passive income 25 that's that's 50 quid just there 50 pound 50 pound because people were playing the card game and, and i didn't have to do nothing it's amazing passive income corner smelly people corner it's all good it's all good we got 1200 quid so have i paid my bills i have paid my bills we'll do that in the morning i am so tempted to buy the workshop right now and i'm like i need the workshop still want to know what's in this door i spoke to somebody in my comment section they're like well there's no there's no inventory area i'm like well why is there a door and a, an empty thing next to me there has to be an inventory section because having these shelves for warehouse only where's my warehouse i want my warehouse i'm hoping it's this i really do but it's like an, you can have another shop I don't even know why I want another shop. I'm quite happy with just the one I've got. I'm sorry, my friend, but you are too smelly to be here. Yeah, you shouldn't be sitting down then. You should be in a bath. Well, I think it's game time. Everyone's going to be sitting down for the day. Yay me. Passive income. It's all good. Hi, guys. Welcome to my shop. Have a seat if you want to play. Oh, God. Like, I'm going to put this in. Oh, no, just stop picking up the box. Get out or get clean. It's like talking to drug addicts, but they, they stink. Right, I need to refill. There we go. So you smell. 1,327. So we've made close to $1,000 in a day. And some of it has been from sales, but some of it, most of it, I reckon it's coming from passive income now. Because it is coming in quite nicely. It's like 10, 20, you know, that was like 20 quid right there, but I, by just not doing anything. So I'm waiting to see what the titles are for this, really. Because the more people you get sat down, the better your chances are. Oh, you want some? Oh, okay. Okay. I'll serve you. It's fine. You are a customer. It's okay. 1840. Brilliant. 1840 and done now if you push enter you will lose money i think you will lose money because some of the people that come here are actively trying to buy stuff from you as well you just have to wait it out now no one else will come into your store whilst this is up so the people that are in here right now are the last people that are going to be in here so it's not too bad you just have to bide your time serve people be happy let's put it this way being happy in retail is very difficult i'll put this into mate i'm sorry you're just lonely he is so lonely oh no yep yeah, no we've got nothing here mate i'm really sorry there's no cards very sorry 
Right, I'll just shut the door. Goodbye. 16 dissatisfied customers. Oh dear, what a shame. Game earnings. We earned £437 from having those tables up. Now that was more than what I earned from just selling random cards. Obviously because the cards are like a little bit like less. But if you look at the difference between the items that I'm selling and how many people are paying to play the game in the store, that's ridiculous. So half my income is literally coming from those five tables. So five tables in, that's £400 a day. Easy. So if you if you can sell, if you, if you can do this, so you don't spend £400 in a day, your tables will pay for themselves, which is completely fine. Now, unfortunately, I'm not in that much of a valued position right now, but I am like, you know what? We need to buy stuff, we need to upgrade. We'll be all right. So let me just get all my card stuff sorted first. Because once I've got all the stock in, we're fine. Oh, I bought loads of cards. I, I didn't need to buy those, but fine. Do, 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 do. Right, so I've got spares of those as well now. Fantastic. I do need to buy myself some more shelves. Let's put that away. <coughs> I just walked into that man's stench. Cringy. Oh, no, that's far away. Full shelf. Card protectors are next. Best way to get everything sorted before your day opens. Don't push the play button until you're ready to. Because getting everything out is more important. There's seven on that. Cool. Alright, black dice. Blue dice. A red dice. And white dice. Cool. Okay, so that's all the stuff I would normally keep on the shelves. We do need to buy one more box of deodorant though, because... Deodorant is something that I feel that the world needs more of. Especially in this game. Honky is all I have to say to these people. Alright, so that's 137 spent on deodorant, which it doesn't sell too well, but it really does help for like keeping stuff in check for everything else. Cool. Yeah, give me a sec, I'm sort of opening up in a second. Right, and that's about it for that lot. Right, okay, cool. Uh, I'm, I'm going to open up the card protectors. I've got two boxes of cards. These ones. Let's open up some packs, shall we? But worst comes to worst is I just keep them aside for a bit. We can sell some of these as well if they're not new. Nothing's new. All good. Ah, okay, I've just opened 64 packs of cards. That was um, riveting. Gonna be brutally honest though, I did pull out a card that was absolutely fantastic and it has made my collection even greater than it was before. Call it the greatest card I own so far, which is this one. £503 for whatever card this is. I don't actually care it's worth 500 quid. Moo ha ha ha. Right, cool. Anyways, so I want to get to terms with this first. So, Tetramon base cards. So, if I come off of... Let's go back, right? Tetramon base cards are basically any of these normal cards where it says basic. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, let's go from that, okay? So, I'm, I'm assuming we're on the base cards. Any variety. So, we're looking at common, rare, epic, and legendary. I'm looking at mainly common cards. So if I look at below mark value, so anything, if, if we say anything below a pound, so I don't really want anything in, I don't want anything in my deck that's below a quid. Randomly select 100 low value cards from album and bundle them in card box. Minimum cards to remain is one. If I bundle these cards now, right, that's completely fine. That's cool. And we're going to be flogging this for, I don't even know how much these are worth because well reasons market value is 10 quid we're doing this for 15 that's fine now let me pull up my thing my thing to think thing thing and go all the way to the other end of my uh, collection as you can see we've still got quite a few of these left because i've opened up quite a few cards so let me just bundle up another load so that's a hundred cards go back into here I don't, I'm not seeing a mass amount of difference, but I have got so many stupid cards. And it's anything worth less than a pound, so it 
these ones are going to be like down so 98p these ones are down to one okay so we'll check those in a minute let's do another one this might just be the best way to do it to get rid of 100 basic cards chuck them on pull it up and have a look yeah we're down to ones on these as well now cool right so we'll go there uh we'll come back we'll go and build another one and if it says i haven't got enough that means that we've basically taken out all of my basic cards right cool so let's have a look again as you can see the numbers are getting lower down well these are all the really expensive ones again three two one pound fifty one thirty six one pound so anything oh where's that one gone it should be leaving at least one in each in, in each area unless i didn't have this one before i don't know but it's really weird it's like it says uh, it says to leave one right why is it random selects 100 low value failure cards minimum card to remainder is one so it should it should have left stuff but there we go i don't really get it 100 percent, but there we go we've got some stuff up for sale we're okay now on the plus side with i mean that one needs to go it's a shame i just can't flog them. i can't just get rid of them which is a bit of a bugger so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put these up for sale because they're not worth anything to me and i really don't care <sighs> actually i do care because i want i want a collection of like just one of each card and i think if that if that's how it's going to be i'm going to have to sit here and go through all of my collection every time i open up another load of cards see i've got four of these ones i don't need them i don't need four of this i don't need three of that there we go we'll get rid of all those that's fine so i've, I've got 400 cards up for sale they're 15 dollars a box and i don't really care which is a shame because but it says here that i shouldn't be selling that many cards there should be at least one left in it so i'm hoping that's a glitch I really am but i sort of get the gist of what this is now so we've got destiny and ghost and we've got common legendary and so on and so forth so we're fine so hopefully this one this will work better in the future um like i said i don't know why i have gaps in my collection now but that's the game i suppose and we'll go from there so i've got 183 let's obviously time doesn't move forward when you got your shop shut as well so that's good so I have 183 cards, which is good. So there's mine. I have got rid of quite a large chunk of them. I think you, basically what you want to do is you just want to make sure you're collecting as much as possible. So I think, yeah, that's my plan. I'm just going to keep. I'm just going to keep going. But yeah, so we can start up here. We've got like a, a few like half decent ones now that are going to be worth some money. Um, like I said, I'm not going to be beating that one for a little while. £500 for one card, I'm good with that. And I've got to be honest, it's it's worth it. It's good. So, that's where I'm up to. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of bits and pieces to fill in at some point, but apart from that, I'm doing okay. And uh, I don't really know what to aim for next. I, I'm not sure how to get rid of shelves. I mean, according to this... It says that we're going to be able to start being able to sell shelves soon. Um, can sell old shelf, which would be appreciated right about now. So what I need to do, if I'm going to be brutally honest, I need to extend my store. I need to extend my store so I can bring in more shelves to sell stuff. And that's pretty much where I'm at. Now, the downside to that is if you go into the renovation app and I need to look at like, the next four upgrades, it's going to cost me... 3550 plus 900 so that's like you know six it's going to cost me four or five grand and i've got to save up five grand so in order for me to save up five grand i'm gonna to have to grind the crap out of the game for a bit so potentially we're gonna be looking at a live stream now when this video goes live that night or maybe the day after depending on my schedule and so on and so forth i'll be streaming because we're gonna need to make money in order for me to make money i need to make out that wall i need to get rid of it and i need to bring in more shelves so we can sell more stuff so it's going to cost me a little bit to get through but we should be okay i'm hoping that the bundling works properly soon and i don't start losing just like random packs or random cards because i swear i set this correctly and if i haven't set this correctly let me know in the comment section below because that's a little bit annoying. 
If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And if you do want to help this channel anyway, you can become a member for as little as 99 cents a month. Now, you can buy some merch from the description box below. And if you really, really want to help, just hit the like button. Does really appreciate it. Until then, thank you very much for kicking by. Peace out, have fun, enjoy everything you guys do. Boom! Fist bump to you.